it's Samantha Bartholomew, premiere of Team Gorgeously Posh, and right now we're going to be chatting on March 2016, because March 2016 is going to be amazing in your business. Why is it going to be so special? Because it is the end, the last month of our incentive period for Italy, all right? Now, I earned New York trip from the incentive that was zero to Paris that launched my very first incentive trip while I was with Perfectly Posh. I started on October um, of 2014, and it launched December of 2014, okay? And I earned a top tier to New York City. I'd never been there before, and it was absolutely amazing. You know, you think like, oh, well, I could go to New York City. You can't go to New York City the way Posh is in New York City. We stayed at a hotel in Times Square, overlooking Times Square. Like, my family and I would never stay there. Like, we couldn't afford to stay there, all right? They take you to dinner and meals that are amazing and extravagant. Like, I got to see Finding Neverland on Broadway. You get swag. Like, it is an amazing experience, okay? Then, all of a sudden in July of 2015, they announced St. Thomas. Like, tan and jam, let's go to St. Thomas. And I remember sitting there when they announced it, and I, I thought the same thing that I thought when they announced New York, and I was like, oh, just so much work. I don't even know that many people still that, how, like, what, you know, like, we'll just see what happens, all right? And I had that attitude, but then as it got going, and I, and I started working it, like, sharing and building, and all of a sudden, like, I'm on the beach in St. Thomas, okay? I ate my weight in shrimp at the welcome and then the farewell ceremony, like, and I'm not a small girl. I love shrimp. And it was amazing being there in the Virgin Islands. I got to go nighttime kayaking and see Bat Ray. Like, seriously, in the wild. I've seen them at SeaWorld and, and places like the aquarium, but like, in the wild, to see the Bat Ray and like, to look over across at one of the founders, like Andrew's, like, Amanda, look, there's a Bat Ray. Like, that kind of experience is just something, like, you can't even put into words, like, how amazing it is. Like, I got to swim with sea turtles, like swim with sea turtles, okay? Lifelong dreams and those things were realized there, all right? This is the last month and maybe you just started. Maybe you just started in February. Like maybe you just started right now and like this is the first video you're watching, okay? Like you can still do this. You can totally still do this. Now, I'm in a level with you here, keeping it real. You're going to need to be a PP3 to go to Italy. Um, people are pushing hard. We've already had two people hit premiere. Um, and a third is about to do it. It took me and my team a year and my team is rocking. All right. And people are doing it in three to four months. That's $20,000 in team volume in one month. Um, and they were able to build up their teams that big to do it. So all of these things are possible. $8,000, PP3 is $8,000 in one month. Three people need to do $200 and you do $500. Now this is where it's monumental, is that whether or not you feel like you're working for Italy, let's say that you you don't even have three people that you've signed up. Well, first of all, go sign up three people and get them started, okay? Um, you still have time to do that. But also when you're helping people grow and you're helping people reach the other incentives I'm gonna tell you about, um, then you're helping them like during this incentive period and you're reaching for them before they're gone forever, then that's gonna be helping your team grow and achieve also. Okay, so this is where everything really gets real. So how are you gonna hit PP3 in one month? How are you gonna hit above? Shoot, why stop there, right? Go for premiere. PP3, um, a lot of people can do it with a fundraiser. So think about um, who you'd like to reach and try a fundraiser. So maybe school, church, um, sports team, stuff like that. You, people um, make their own fundraiser. Basically, you decide what percentage of your commission you're gonna donate, and that's all between you and the organization. And you can do it like a party, you can make like a form, um, you could do it, or you could do it like the Girl Scouts. Like, you know, I'm sure the box, per box of cookies, X number of dollars is raised. So you can do it like that, where you say if you sell this, this, or this, then X number of money is going to go. And the thing about a fundraiser also is that you do like a party, you make yourself the hostess, so you're, you're getting perks, but you are getting advertising. You are reaching people that you otherwise wouldn't have reached. 
if you have a Facebook party and people are inviting their friends and they're like, oh, try this, it's good. And um, some people will come because they're like product junkies or they've heard of it before. But you're going to have like some aunts and uncles and stuff that um, don't really think about it. But you're like, hey, help me send, send Sydney to this other country where she's going to minister to these people and, you know, the church group and they're trying to raise money. Um, and they're going to support them anyway. You know, maybe they're going to send them some cash anyway. Then maybe they're going to um, turn to your fundraiser, if that makes sense. So basically, it's not like you're working for free, but you have a reason to get your name out in front of people. Um, you're also going to just share posh. If you're not doing a fundraiser and you're raising money for yourself because you've got like a mortgage and a car payment and stuff, then just go out there and sell. That's the amazing thing about sales. There's no cap to how much you can sell. Whether you do it online, if you do it um, at home, you carry around your big fat yummy hand cream with you, you invite people over to your house, you're just sharing and sharing and sharing. And you never know, you know, somebody, maybe you get like someone gets a big fat yummy hand cream, somebody else gets a skin stick, and all of a sudden somebody's like, I'd like $300 worth of posh, please. You just never know. So you never stop sharing, okay? So the other way it's monumental, like I said, is maybe you're not going for PP3 but maybe you're going for the next thing. So you just, you go for your props, you go for your, your 15 day, your 30, your 60, your 90. If you are my team and you don't know what those are and you don't know all the amazing parks and props that you get, like you get over, you get $360 in perks. It's $360, you know the amazing things you can buy? You should talk to Danielle Barna about it. She's on our team. She gets some amazing things when she rocked out her $360 like that, okay? And she earned it like that. Um, but you get those perks. You also get a car clean for your window so you can drive around with your name and information on it. You also get business cards. You also get um, labels with your name on it. And so you're working towards those things. Um, when you hit pink with Perfectly Posh, you're going to say you're going to get an additional 5% bonus. If you hit pink during the incentive, you're also going to get a pink scarf with polka dots on it. You can only get this Italy incentive scarf if you earn it by March 31st. So if you're going for pink, why not hit by March 31st? So you get your goodies from Posh, which is the, um, you know, a t-shirt that says pink on it, and you're going to get your rays, and you're going to get your flare, and you're also going to get more flare and a scarf, okay? PP1. So PP1 means your entire team, so if we're talking incentive, your incentive team does $2,000, okay? One person does 200. That's where the one comes from. That one person has to do 200. You do 500. Boom. PP1. Okay? You hit that, you're going to get your goodies from Posh. You're going to get um, Posh points. If you just started, you're also earning your perks along the way, right? Plus, you are going to get a Big Fat Yummy hand cream that is an exclusive. A Italy exclusive Big Fat Yummy hand cream plus a big spring um, PP1 bag. Okay, why stop there? If you're growing your team, you're welcoming people to your team, you can hit PP2, no joke, because everybody who's going for that scarf and who's going for that bat, then that's gonna help push you and you have that momentum and you're gonna go PP2. So when you go to PP2, that means that you're going to get a necklace, you're gonna get an Alex and Annie style bracelet, and these two are gonna match, and you're also gonna get a tiramisu skin delicious. Like, you can only get this Skin Delicious if you hit PP2 in the Italy Incentive. That's the only way to get it, okay? And then you hit PP3, oh wait, PP2 then has $4,000 in sales. Two people need to do 200 and you need to do 500, okay? PP3, your entire team does 8,000. Doesn't matter where it comes from and how it happens, but they do 8,000. You're gonna have three people do 200 and you're gonna do 500. And other than those, that way, then um, it doesn't matter how it happens. So you can have somebody on your team who rocks out and they are hit PP2, that's gonna be $4,000 of your eight. Does that make sense? So you just never stop and you don't give up. And you're gonna get gift cards, like three huge gift cards from Perfectly Posh, plus you're gonna get your pay raise, plus your team is gonna be moving and rocking. So if you're watching this video and you're like, I haven't recruited anybody, I'm not going to recruit, stop. Go out and do it, okay? And if you're watching this video, maybe this is incentive time. Maybe this isn't the best time for you and you are not 
working the incentive in the way that you're going to be earning these things yourself, but you've been with Posh for a while. Maybe you've been with Posh for a year. Maybe you've been with Posh for two years. You have girls and men on your team who are working for these things, so encourage them. Encourage them to shout out their rank. Encourage them to say whether or not they earn their scarf. Show them. Have them show the team their scarf that they earned. Have them show them what they're getting in the mail and these things that they're getting from Posh because these are exclusives that go away. They're gone. Like They are like the pumpkin at midnight in Cinderella, okay, on March 31st. So you want to be working towards these things. Again, my name is Amanda Bartholomew. I'm the premier of Team Florida State Posh. I hope all this rambling makes sense. There's just amazing things to be had um, this very last month, March, and it's set up in such a way that the harder you work and the higher you reach, the better you're going to even set up yourself for April. So if you have any questions, reach on out to me, and thanks for listening.